I'm going to talk about teaching kids programming, and there's me, Lynn Langett, and we're just going to see a bunch of pictures of events. This is um, girls learning how to uh, work together to create uh, a, uh, a virtual world. Uh, we are a group of people that are from Microsoft and outside of Microsoft. There are about 15 of us working together, and we're creating courseware that will appeal to kids, both boys and girls, as young as 10. And we're putting it out and available, making it for free. Started, as Heather said, with DigiGirls. I run, run DigiGirls in Southern California, and I'm one of the global curriculum leads. It's a Microsoft program. Um, we look specifically at what um, technologies are of interest to girls, but we've expanded our work and gone younger, because that was for high school girls, and now we're creating courseware libraries around different technologies. This is an example of one. Um, and we're using now agile techniques, so we're using pair programming, sprints, um, and different types of things. One of the languages that we're using is Small Basic, so it's kind of like um, good old basic. Some of you programmers in the audience might know what this produces. And this is from our first recipe that we get 10-year-olds coding up. Um, our uh, lessons are delivered through the Small Basic editor, which is free. It looks like a little junior editor. If you guys have done any professional coding, it has help. Um, we've also extended it, the team that I'm working with, to make it even more discoverable. I actually have a background in linguistics. So we've taken the basic language and made it a little bit more simple. So we're going to have 15 seconds. What do you think this code will draw? Were you right? <laughs> so we have the kids coding up what we call recipes, which are individual concepts. And then we go into variations, which is refactoring and creativity. And we end up having rooms full of 10 to 17 year olds wanting to code more and wanting to take our quizzes. Just like everything else, um, we do first, learn second. The quizzes are for the kids. We pass through the results of the quiz back to the reward shape. And what happens is if we don't have a quiz, the kids actually complain and they want to keep going. Um, this is from Girls Middle School up in Mountain View where we are invited guest teachers. And these are just some various uh, uh, outputs from the recipes that we've uh, done. Not all of them are total graphics. We have some simple games and, and things like that. And it's really just exciting. We've expanded this to other areas. SQL Server, you wouldn't think that this is an exciting thing, but it is for high school girls when you're querying for hot boys. So <laughs> we have a class all around um, understanding progressively more, um, and there's an example of a SQL query. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, so uh, we have had high school girls begging us for more after an hour of that. So uh, we're extending this out to different um, ages. This is younger uh, uh, programming. This is visual programming. I like this uh, screenshot because this is a actual 12-year-old girl as opposed to what, I'm not really sure. Um, I, I, was <laughs> I was part of the alpha testers for this with my 11-year-old daughter, and this is expanding programming into um, war, uh, kids that maybe wouldn't want to type code or whatever. This is as young as seven, so they create these uh, games and these uh, virtual worlds. And again, I was part of a group that helped to make this uh, non-gender specific. It's interesting, we added a lot of stuff into it so that you can make like movie sets and not necessarily games and just made it more interesting to a wider variety of people. Um, in addition to designing the world, you also can add objects and properties, um, but in a non-code kind of way. This is uh, for the Xbox, and it's also free for the PC. And once you add your objects and properties, and it's kind of funny, in the beginning, at first, the, the characters could only swear and they couldn't talk. <laughs> so, you know, we did some fun things with it. Then this is how you actually program or add your methods, and this is a little event we had at my house with a bunch of girls. So when do is the, uh, is the metaphor for it. So when you do a certain thing, then you do a result. Um, we've also added Lego Mindstorms, and um, we've got, um, yeah, Thomas is here with me tonight. It is our Mindstorm stuff, and we're talking with Lego Education about some integration with our work in Lego, Lego Mindstorms. Um, had some of these uh, uh, Lego Mindstorms at some of our events. Um, this is all based on free software, mostly Microsoft. I do work for Microsoft, so this is all the free stuff. All the courseware is free. We have ported it into some other non-Microsoft platforms as well. Um, so the kids can grab Small Basic, Kodu, um, and I encourage you to go to teachingkidsprogramming.org. We have all of our recipes and all of our stuff there. Try to recipe and volunteer. And that's it.